Hi, we are from At Home Tuition. In this video, we are going to see few examples on how to find the integer pairs based on the given question. So, first question is, write 5 pair of integers whose sum gives a negative integer. So, 0 plus negative 2, it's negative 2. So, we know that addition is commutative. So, we can alternatively write as negative 2 plus 0 equal to negative 2. And then 5 plus negative 10 is negative 5 or negative 10 plus 5 is negative 5. Then negative 20 plus negative 30 is negative 50 or negative 30 plus negative 20 equal to negative 50. Then negative 3 plus 2 equal to negative 1 or we can write the same thing as 2 plus negative 3 equal to negative 1. And then next is negative 100 plus 99 is equal to negative 1 or 99 plus negative 100 is negative 1. So from all these above examples, we can say that one integer should be positive and the other integer should be negative or both integers should be negative gives the result as negative integer. Next question is, so we want to find two integers such that their sum is 0. So now if you take 5 plus because we are summing it so negative 5 will be 0 or we can write it as negative 5 plus 5 is 0 same with 25 plus negative 5 is 0 or negative 25 plus 25 is 0 similarly negative 60 plus 60 is 0 negative 100 plus 100 is 0 and then negative 8 plus 8 is 0. So from all these examples, we can say any integer plus its additive inverse will be 0. Then next, we want to find two integers such that their sum gives an integer smaller than both the integers. If you want to add two integers, then the result should be smaller than both the integers. So negative 3 plus negative 6 is negative 9. Or we can alternatively write as negative 6 plus negative 3 equal to negative 9. Similarly, negative 2 plus negative 1 equal to negative 3. Negative 5 plus negative 10 equal to negative 15. And then negative 10 plus negative 20 equal to negative 30. And then negative 100 plus negative 200 equal to negative 300. So in all these examples, our answer is less than both these integers. So from these examples, we can say both the integers should be negative. Then if you sum those integers, then the sum answer will be smaller than both the integers. Next is find two integers such that their sum gives an integer smaller than only one of the integers. So answer should be smaller than only one of the integer. So 7 plus negative 3. So that is 7 minus 3 is 4. Then 10 plus negative 2. That is 10 minus 2 is 8. Then 50 plus negative 25. So 50 minus 25 is 25. Then 100 plus negative 20. So 100 minus 20 is 80. The next is 75 plus negative 25. So that is 50. So now all these examples if we see. So our answer is less than one of these integers. So this condition is possible by taking one positive integer and one negative integer. So in this case we will get the answer as it will be smaller than any one of the integer. Next question is find two integers such that the answer is greater than only one integer. So now it's here it's same example I am taking. So 7 plus negative 3 so that is 7 minus 3 is 4 and then 10 plus negative 2 that is 10 minus 2 is 8 and then 50 plus negative 25 is 25 and 100 plus negative 20 is 80. And 75 plus negative 25 is 50. So in this case, our answer is greater than one of the integers. So if you take one positive integer and one negative integer, and if you sum it, your result will be greater than one of the integers. Next question is, find two integers such that their sum gives an integer greater than both the integers. So it's 10 plus 5 is 50, 25 plus 25 is 50, 30 plus 50 is 80, 100 plus 200 is 300 
and 150 plus 300 is 450. So we want an integer answer such that their sum is greater. So in this case we have to take two integers. Both the integers should be a positive integer. Next question is write two pair of integers whose difference gives a negative integer. Difference means here we have to subtract two integers. So negative 3 minus negative 2. So here if you take negative 3 this will become plus 2. So it will be negative 1 and then 15 minus 30 is negative 15. So here both the integers should be negative or subtraction should be greater than the minute n. Then our answer will be negative integer. The next is you want to find two integers such that their difference is 0. So if you subtract two integers then answer should be 0. So in this case 5 minus 5 is 0. Negative 25 minus negative 25 is 0. So both the integers should be same. Next question is find two integers such that the answer is smaller than both the integers. So if you take 3 minus 2, it's 1 and 10 minus 5, it's 5. So it is smaller than both the integers. So in this case, both the integers should be positive. Next is find the integers such that if you take the difference, the answer should be greater than only one of the integers. So in this case, 5 minus 3 is 2 and 10 minus 2 is 8. So, this is possible when subtrahend should be greater than the minute end. Next one, an integer greater than both the integers. So, 5 minus minus 3, so that is 5 plus 3 is 8 and 25 minus minus 10, that is 25 plus 10 is 35. So, this case is possible when subtrahend should be a negative integer than the minute end or it should be a lesser number. Hope you have understood how to find the answers with two integers. Thank you for watching this video.